here. Oh, maybe that was this here. Well, it was uh, Samox um, received his, uh, you know, he got an award at the Esports Awards for, like, his doc, you know, the, the, the metagame document. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was at this very venue, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I guess that's a little bit, you know, <laughs> I was there for Super Smash Brothers Melee insofar as it was the metagame doc, but it was not a Smash tournament. Of course, look, you know, many of the LTC tournaments have been here, so yeah, wonderful venue, been here before. Weapons versus Fury. Yeah, uh, they so have already started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Fury, Sheik. Yeah. So Fury is mostly a Falcon main, but he does play Sheik depending on the matchup. I guess Samus is one of those matchups where he'll play Sheik. I think he's just trying to get better with the character in general. Oh, okay. Because I, I was gonna say I think Falcon. Falcon does, does fine. Great yeah. versus <laughs> Samus. Um, but yeah, you know, on the flip side, it's it's you know sometimes if you're off stage, Samus has a pretty good edge guard flow chart against Samus. The matchup can feel bad in ways that I think Sheik Samus never feels bad. So. Yeah, it's it's definitely less execution heavy with this matchup. Yeah. Oh, double dash tech. That, oh, that double slide up air. actually was just so bad for Fury. It's going to be a stock trade, probably not necessary, yeah, but I not terrible for Wevins. I really <laughs> understand why Wevins uh, didn't recover, but, you know, it is what it is. It looked like he just missed a button, honestly. <laughs> so is Wevins a Texas player? No. Okay, I was going to say, I've... I feel like I've played Wevins a bunch, like online. I feel like I've just run into Wevins. I feel like yes, I might be in Twitch chat sometimes. I don't know. I feel like I've talked to Wevins. Why do I feel like I know Wevins? Do I, know Wevins? I have heard of Wevins as a Samus player, but I'm not familiar enough to know where he's from. I just know Fury is local DFW. Uh huh. You're a Samus player? No, I'm not a Samus player. I've just heard of him as a Samus player. Oh. Like I like if you ask I've me. I've heard of. Him as a Samus player. Yes, not yeah, like I've I, heard of him. I've heard of him, and I knew as he was a Samus a, player. I knew he was a Samus. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. where the that's where the English language English is, is crazy, right? A little bit. Um, yeah, I like the needle usage for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and in particular, you know, I think something that you can really maximize with the needles here is if you can get the Samus to kind of grapple at the timing you expect, you can kind of intercept that with needles, and then you can really just grab the ledge and uh, edge guard Samus like any other character. Yep. Which needles. always feels great, because usually you cannot edge guard Samus like yeah, any other character. Yeah, needles are one of the best, probably the best edge guard tool against Samus in the game. Because oh, yeah. they go, you can go straight and you can go at an angle, and usually when Samus is doing those bomb bumps back to stage, uh, you just kind of got to wait for her to come back. Right. Samus, or, uh, Sheik is one of the only characters that can be proactive about it. Like, she has things she can't do even during those moments. Mm -hmm. Gonna hold, wait, oh, and mm -hmm. the instant up B. So that's yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a 50-50 whether they go for the uh, the wall jump up here or, or not. Mm -hmm. um, but I like that Fury is at least trying to hold the ledge um, instead of kind of relinquishing it. There we go. And that is somehow I not a strong backer. Cannot believe that he lived. <laughs> yeah, that that is really wild. Four tilt is looking to potentially KO off the top. And I mean, we're starting to see uh, the upsides and downsides of striking a dreamland. I was about I'm, to I'm say. I'm a little shocked, actually, because I feel like you don't need to go here as Sheik. I feel like as Sheik, your strategy, you're kind of projecting your strategy is, I'm going to platform a needle camp you if you're going to this stage, because the, the longevity of, of Samus here is just not worth anything else. Right. But we haven't really seen much of Exactly. That. If so, he's not going to play that strategy, why strike here? Yeah. Because you've got Battlefield, you've got FOD, you've got Yoshi's, you've got Pokemon Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, probably, you know, I don't actually know what the starter list is for this tournament, but if FD is one of the starters, I would say that's arguably the best stage uh, for Sheik in this matchup. So I would actually probably go everywhere besides maybe Fountain. <laughs> yeah, you know, basically you what know? you're saying is you would have done anything else. Anything, <laughs> this would have been not only a strike, this probably would have been my first strike. <laughs> this would have been your ban. <laughs> this would have been my ban. Yeah, this would be my counterpick ban. Well, uh, okay, FD, liking that. Yeah, this is one of those stages where it's bad for both of these characters, but it's just so much worse for Samus. Right. Um, I think the... Oh, that was like six wave dashes. There's there's something to be said for like... Um, yeah, not having platforms for Sheik. Obviously, Sheik likes to have platforms in general. But I also just think that like sharking Samus here is really easy. And so because of that, I mean, they're not like true combos, but you end up getting just a lot of damage off your openings. Yeah. Because Samus just has a tough time getting down in a way that you can't exploit. Yeah, and the, the ceiling's actually pretty low, so down That's throw, true. up air is a pretty good kill confirm here. And it's yeah. easy to get those grabs because there's no platforms to mix up your landing with. Right. You just have bombs. On the flip side, no platforms means you really have nowhere to land. So when you have to up be on the stage like that, Wevins, 
Oh, oh no. my goodness. So a charge shot on the landing for one KO, and then just kind of exploiting the fact that, like you said, maybe Fury, Fury more of a Falcon player overall, uh, just missed the, the needle cancel. Um, uh, period, and then threw the needles and was way below the stage. Yeah, just a little bit of the unfamiliarity flub, probably. Right. Because the needle turned around that time, proving that he can do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's the danger of, like, you know, everyone sort of thinks it's very na- Oh, oh my god, that one. Really <laughs> oh, but gets there anyway. anyway. Forces the double jump. This might be this might be a quick set. Everyone sort of thinks that, you know, when I'm flubbing or when I'm when I'm missing stuff, I think the natural human inclination is maybe I was doing it too slow. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's because you're going too fast. You yes. Know? Oh. And with needle cancels in particular, if you accidentally throw the needles, that means that you tried to press the L button or the R button too fast. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh. Dancing around Fury. Yeah, some of the best shield pressure in the oh, game is actually just waiting for their shield to break. Right. <laughs> there's a lot of people, when they put those shields up, they're waiting for you to hit it. So if you actually just like threaten that area and let their shield shrink and shrink, it causes this panic moment in right. a lot of players. And, you know, very likely the shield isn't going to break, but what will yeah, happen yeah. is as it gets smaller, then when you do attack their shield, it's very yeah. likely to shield poke. They're forced to do something. They can't shield forever. Get on shield forever, yeah. exactly. And you've got to turn into Zelda to even have a hope here, but it's so difficult to get anything yeah. done with that really, really long landing recovery from the Zelda upbeat. Mm -hmm. And Fury uh, just kind of gets taken out. Do you, Unceremoniously. 